has a new feature called sales count repricing. <clears throat> sales count repricing is a really cool thing that lets you adjust your margin depending on how many sales a listing has made. And this is a really powerful tool for trying to generate sales on your earlier listings by lowering the margin and then as they've sold more you can raise the price if you like. Um, it automates a strategy that a lot of users are already using and I want to show it to you. So if you go to your store settings page and go to the source market that you're using, in this case Amazon US, uh, you have your repricing settings. If you scroll down you'll see the advanced section, open that up, and then at the bottom of that you see enable sales count repricing. And uh, it's off by default so everything works the same way as it always has unless you come in and check this box. And so I've checked the box and you see now that we have a new set of margin percentages. So uh, I'll save that and I want to explain how this works. We, when we reprice your items, we first go to your regular repricing ranges and we figure out what the margin percent and the margin fix should be, depending on the price at the source. Um, so we, we start with your regular pricing calculation, but then we can add an additional margin for items that have sold a certain amount. So in this case, I've actually gone ahead and clicked the plus to add a few additional ranges and items that have sold zero um, copies, anywhere between zero and five actually, I'm adding 0% extra margin. Um, in between five and 10 sales, I'm adding 10% margin. In between, uh, and 10 and more, um, I'm adding 8% extra margin. And uh, the way this works, it adds to your existing margin percent. So if up here we had a 5% margin percent, and then down here, let's say the item has sold six copies, well then it's gonna add another 10%. So we now will be using a 15% margin for the calculation of your prices. Something that's useful to know is you can actually put negative numbers in here. Uh, so for example, I might configure my ranges like this. Um, and what this will do, whoops, let's save that. What this would do is items that have sold, uh, that have never sold, items that have zero sales, will actually subtract 10 percentage points. And that's cool because it lowers the price and it's more likely to generate a sale. And then once it's had one sale, I'm just using zero additional margin, so it uses the regular margin. And then now if it's sold 10 or more, it adds 10 percentage uh, points of additional margin. So the way we recommend that you use this is you lower the margin on your items that haven't ever sold or that have only sold a few copies. And then we recommend you raise your margin for items that have been selling well. And the reasoning for that is after you've generated sales, your items tend to rank higher in eBay's search results and the Cassini ranking. And so this way, your brand new items will, will have a lower price, be more competitive, get some sales, go up in the rankings, and then you can raise your margin to begin earning uh, a profit or to earn more profit on those items. So it's a really powerful new feature. Let me know if you have any questions on it, and I hope you like it.